On this lovely afternoon, and we as their family and friends can show our love for them as they have done for us. So, without further ado, let us begin to celebrate one of the life's greatest moments the uniting of two into one through the most sacred vow of marriage. Marriage is a sacred institution, the basis of human society, and should be held in high honor among all men and women. We are assembled here in the presence of God to join these men and women in the holy marriage, which is an instituted by God, regulated by His commandments, and blessed by our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us therefore reverently remember that God had established and sanctified marriage for the welfare and happiness of mankind. Our Savior has declared that a man shall leave his father and mother and cleave unto his wife and they shall be one flesh according to Genesis chapter 2 verse 24 the Holy Scripture set before you the love of Christ for his church as an example for your devotion you are not left without guidance concerning the meaning of that love and these are the words of the great Apostle Paul love is patient and kind Love is not jealous or boastful. It is not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrong, but rejoices in the right. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, enters all things. Love never fails. May I ask the congregation, to, you, you may sit now and accept for the sponsors. The congregation may now sit and accept for the sponsors. Let us pray. Our Father whose presence brings happiness to every condition and whose favor sweetens every relation in life, we pray for your presence and for your favor towards this couple, that they may be truly joined in honorable estate of marriage and recommit their lives to each other. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. To the sponsors, the reason you're here today is for you to bear witness of the miraculous union and recommitment between Marlu and Kerry. You have a very special obligation because you are here to support them in their marriage. May God bless you for accepting the invitation to bless and to witness the union of Marlu and Kerry. You may now sit down. Thank you.
Marlu, Karen, this is your day. May I remind you that you must enter this relationship with all your heart and with all your soul. And I hope and pray that the Lord will bless and encourage you as you recommit your life to each other and to the Lord. Marlu, do you take Karen to be your wedded wife? To love her as Christ loved his church. And to protect her and care for her for the rest of your life. Amen. Did you hear that? Amen. Amen. Karen, do you think Marlu as your wedded husband, submitting yourself to him as the head of this union for the rest of your life? I do. Oh. So you know what? I want you to hear their personal vow. So let's start with Marlu. Hello. Uh, I Karen, uh, I promise, I promise to you and to all uh, to this, I promise to this uh, to, to you and the uh, whole congregation that gonna, I'm gonna love you, cherish you, take care of you for the rest of my life. If I fail, maybe if I fail, uh, I, I promise you to put the God in, our, in the center of our relationship always. And I love you very much. I will continue to cover you in prayer. 
I will work alongside with you in support of your God-given vision for our family. I will speak words of kindness and not criticism. I still love you and be faithful to you alone from this day forward until God call us home. And I promise to submit to you and never dominate you. I still let you be the, the I still let you be the leader of the family, just like Christ is the head of ours. I promise to glorify Jesus with you as we grow our faith in Him, so that when people look at us, wonder how we did it, we will both look up and search with Christ alone. For months of my life, I dream about my wedding day. Before, sabi ko, Lord, kahit sa gilid na lang ng ilog, may kasal lang kami, simple, pero yun eh. Pinangarap ko, 16 years, pero iba yung ginawa ni Lord. Tinala niya tayo sa Canada, kahit malamay. <laughs> Dito tayo, pinakasal. Ganun, at tayo kamahal ng Lord. <laughs> Maliit yung hiningi ko, pero pinigay niya yung sobrang laki para sa atin na And how can you know, I thought about the person that would be standing beside me and what things would like be like after the magical day had come and gone. I wonder if there was such a thing as perfect class union. Now, 16 years later, I know that we have a healthy and loving marriage. True love like this is rare and difficult to find. But I know that I found it in you. In the time that we had been married, my life has changed because of you. You have challenged me to do things that I did not think possible. You have a passion for life that inspires me to be the best person I can be. Because of this, I find myself continuing to fall in love with you more deeply each day. Take note. <laughs> Today, I want to thank you for loving me unconditionally. I'll keep loving and supporting you and stand by your side no matter what challenges we have faced together. I still look forward to spending the rest of my life with you and how to continue loving you now, always, and forever. My prayer is that you could see my, yourself through my eyes. Only, only then could you realize just how much you mean to me and how much I love you. You are and always will be my everything, my love. a million times I will marry I will marry you two million times I love you so much praise God what a lovely vow we hope and pray that the Lord will give you power and wisdom to fulfill so may I ask the sponsors for the ring? So down through ages, bridge has been enriched with symbols that have come to us from the living past. Foremost among these is a ring. This ring is a circle and circle has no beginning or end. This reflects the character and attributes of God. God, who is from eternity past, has put love in the hearts of men. In placing this ring on your fingers, you are not only expressing your eternal love for each other, but you are also affirming that God is God. Amen. So, uh, you. 
So I want the groom to follow after me. This ring I give you. This ring I give you. As a token and pledge of my abiding love. As a token and pledge of my abiding love. And respect of what you are. And respect of what you are. As well as my prayer. As, as, as well as my prayer. As well as my prayer. For what you will be. For what you will be. May you now pray. This ring I give you as a token and pledge of my abiding love and respect of what you are as well as my prayer, prayer for what you will be. You may not. Ask the sponsors to light up the candles, please. In marriage, I want to light on that one, this big candle. candles that you see represent the separate lives of Marlu and Karen. Symbolize their being united in marriage. I want to light on that one, this big candle. Symbolize the unity, the union of two of them. And this candle, which represents me joining together as one, symbolize the light. And this candle symbolizes that Christ is your light in your marriage. May I now ask for the focus? May I ask you to kneel down? So the veil is not just a symbol of purity, 
but also symbolizes responsibility. It is placed on the groom's shoulder because man is the head of the family. He has a tremendous responsibility as the head. He has to make decisions to see to it that his family's needs are provided. The Bible says that a man is the head of the woman in the same way as Christ is the head of the church. This does not mean that man is a dictator any more than Christ is. This means that in loving his wife and family, the man is ready to the extent of sacrificing his own life in the care and defense of his tremendous responsibility as the head. He has to make decisions to see to it that his family's needs are provided. The Bible says that a man is the head of the woman in the same way as Christ is the head of the church. This does not mean that man is a dictator any more than Christ is. This means that in loving his wife and family, the man is ready to the extent of sacrificing his own life in the care and defense of his loved ones. At the same time, the veil is placed on the head of the bride because it shows that she will honor her husband in mutual esteem and love. May I now ask for the court please to be put on? So Brother Merle, that court, or Sister Karen, that court is not a symbol, okay? To tie Brother Merle if he did something wrong. <laughs> it is a symbol of unity. It is speaks of eternal reality that in marriage, men and women become one. And the court also symbolizes the unbreakable ties of love between husband and wife. And I think this is one of the most important symbol that we can have. Can I ask for the coin, please? The coins are a symbol of prosperity and of the groom's commitment to support his bride. And I won't give it to the groom because it symbolizes his responsibility to support his wife and the family. But he need to give it back to the, to the bride. <laughs> And the bride says, I don't mind if you are the president of the company as long as I'm the treasurer. <laughs> Is that? So. so that symbolizes that the blessings also comes from the Lord, not just from you, brother Martin. And the Lord provides everything you need in life and in godliness. May I ask now for the Bible, please?
So the Bible is God's word. The Bible that you can see. They're holding is God's word. From it we receive the wisest counseling. And I charge you, Brother Marlu and Sister Karen, to be guided by its principle. Marlu, as the head of your family, search the pages of this of that book. Often, for the spiritual guidance, you will need to make wise decisions for your family. Karen, make the reading of that book a daily part of your life. Ask the wife and mother, you will need guidance that can only be found in that book. To you, to both of you, let the principles of that book be the foundation of your family. So may I now ask the sponsors to remove the veil and the cord. in your married life and a renewed vow to be true to your vows that you have made to each other. With your marriage and recommitment from this day, you begin anew with a larger responsibility. Marlon, guard your bride well, who now commits herself into your keeping. He strives so to live in the Lord that no word or deeds of you shall cloud her brow with tears, nor dim her eyes. Karen, to the bride, it is your responsibility to strive, to retain by your virtues the heart you have won by your graces. You have a major role to play in making a happy home. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we have heard from these two persons the acceptance of the solemn renewal of marriage. Let's grant them grace and courage, love and loyalty constancy and faith to maintain these vows to the end of the way through Christ our Lord who shares in the sacred institution. Amen. You may not see that.
continually as they walk with you. And may they always obey your teaching and commandments. And Lord, may you bless their family. Lord, may you bless all the works of their hand. As we unite in faith and agree that your, that your blessings will be poured upon them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's give them the round of applause. And may I ask for the certificate so that the sponsors can sign the certificate. So may I ask the sponsors to come forward and sign this certificate. Beloved brethren, please allow me to present to you a Mr. and Mrs. Sarmento. And the most awaited part of the ceremony, you may now kiss the bride. Thank you very much and may the Lord bless you.